they are recruiting children. They are recruiting children right under our noses in every community. Only on 11 Alive this morning, we see it far too often. Kids, sometimes not even teenagers, getting shot and killed. It is one reason 11 Alive's Molly Oak started digging deeper and asking police questions. The main one, why does this keep happening? Molly joining us live in studio this morning. Now, Molly, Marietta Police told you that the state is dealing with a gang problem. We've been seeing this trend over the few last few years. It even got the governor's attention. Yeah, Aisha, the country, the state, our communities all dealing with this issue and gang recruitment is becoming harder for police to track because of the creative ways they're connecting with their newest and youngest members. We are not immune. It's plaguing your neighborhoods. It's in our schools, it's in our prison systems, it's in the jails. Gangs recruiting in your communities. Kids are being recruited now when they're in middle school. In elementary school, this is not a high school problem. It is a problem, Officer Chuck McPhillamy with Marietta Police says every community is facing. And it is frightening to hear from a state level that these gangs are learning how to go into communities and recruit children. The Georgia Bureau of Investigation says that gang members are getting creative, now targeting new members using social media, music, and using social settings, like hosting basketball tournaments, barbecues, bounce houses, even ice cream trucks. And so the kids let their guard down and they see these gang members as friends and family, especially those where both parents are at, away from the home or working. The GBI says this not only hides the reason behind the meetups, targeting kids, but also prevents law enforcement from immediately catching on. The gangs are always looking for ways to beat the legal system. And they know that if they recruit children young enough, those children are gonna end up at the youth detention center with a slap on the wrist and probation and be right back out on the street with no real way to hold them in a prison setting the way that you would an adult. Preventable situations that are killing kids. As a parent, as a grandparent, it's heartbreaking when you see a child making the wrong decision when you know they don't have the mental capacity yet to make that decision, but those life choices have already potentially forever changed their path. And it's catastrophic when it does to the families, to the community, to every one of their classmates within the school system. A choice for the kids. The gang members are looking at it as luring them into a life or a family. It's up to us to give them alternatives. And a chance for the communities to heal. And Molly, this was just so eye opening because it's an aspect that you don't think of. You kind of picture it one way, what gang recruitment will look like. But then you talk about bounce houses and ice cream trucks. That's not what you're really looking at, but so many layers to the story. So you're actually going to keep going. Yeah, I and mean, you kind of saw a little teaser of that at the end of the package. You saw that one guy playing music for the little kids. Tomorrow morning, we're taking you inside one of those alternatives police mentioned. Some solutions that are happening in one Cobb County neighborhood making a huge difference. All right, important story, Molly. Thank you so much.